What can a tutor earn? Um, that's a difficult question to answer because there's so many variables involved. It really depends a lot on what your philosophy is and also what you need to earn. It will also depend on your background, qualifications and experience. When I started star tutoring, um, I was only charging £10 an hour, which was ridiculous. People believe they get what they pay for, so um, I think people presume that I was probably um, young, inexperienced. I doubled the cost of my price and instantly work started to come in and over the years I've increased it further. But the thing is, I, I know we're not the most expensive tutors and I'm, I know it's not because we don't offer great quality but my opinion is that if a child deserves, if a child needs support, a parent on a low income shouldn't be penalised for being on a low income. So we've always kept our prices down so that we can support as many children as possible. And maybe that's part of why we've been as successful as we have, because we don't, we're not the most expensive tutors. But I'd like to think it's because of the great value we give. But what you need to do is work out what you need to earn and then um, work, think about how many hours you want to work really realistic here obviously if you want to earn a thousand pound a month but you only want to work two hours you might find tutees but you're going to struggle but if you're looking to earn a thousand pound a month and you're willing to work i don't know 10 hours a week that would mean you'd need to work um you'd need to charge roughly 25 pound but bear in mind you will have expenses you'll have depending on the style of tutoring you do you might have travel expenses, you'll need to pay for um, the resources that you make for the lessons. Um, you might have insurances and things like that, so it's probably advisable to go around £30 an hour. But obviously that's going to vary as well uh, according to your geographical location. So there are, there's a lot to think about. What I suggest you do is have a look, see what other tutors in your geographical area are charging, and then think about what you need to earn, what your philosophy on it is, and then work accordingly. I mean, it could be that you've decided that you've got a lot of experience, you only want to work a few hours, you've got an awful lot to offer, and so you're going to pitch yourself above the local, local average. Or it could be that you're a student um, at university, you just want to earn some extra money to help subsidise your degree, you're... Um, going to do all your lessons online and there won't be any resources to prepare but because you don't have the experience of other people um, the average is roughly 20 from say 30 pound an hour you might go in at 20 because you don't have everything on the table to offer that other tutors have it's it's a difficult question to answer but I really hope that's helped a bit